Howdy students, we are going to go over the guided project for PowerPoint Chapter 1. And the description says, Wanton Waffles is a small, successful mobile food business. The company was started by two culinary arts students and their parents as a way to finance the students' college education. A year later, they own three food trucks that sell breakfast waffles, waffle sandwiches, and dessert waffles. Street food lovers line up around the block when the food truck truck parks in their neighborhood. The business has increased its revenue and profits, and the owners are looking to expand their operation by offering franchises in other college cities. They need to prepare a presentation for an important meeting with the financiers. So the first instruction always says to open your file and then save it as, and we want to replace your name on slide one with your name. All right, you can't see very much of the screen here, and I wanted to point out that I can change the size of that notes pane, and you could change it so much that you might not even notice that it was there, but um, all of these panes are configurable to some degree. So that gives you a little more real estate to look at things when you make those adjustments. And we want to apply the retrospect theme themes and I don't know which one is retrospect honestly and they're pretty there it is yay okay now we want to insert a new slide with the section header layout after slide one so I can go here, insert, new slide, and instead of just clicking the button, I'm going to pull it down because I want to do one with a section header. And we're going to type this title in the placeholder, click to add title. And it did say to include the period. Now we want to double click the border of the title placeholder. And you'll notice that it becomes solid. So when I'm in here editing, it's, it's dotted. And when I have the outside of it selected, whatever I do is going to apply to everything in there. And it wants us to change the font size to 60 points. There we go, and that gets it all inside the placeholder. We want to go to slide three, and we want to add some speaker notes. Now, at this point, you might want to pull that up so you have a little more space. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and you can't do this. I'm, it really seems like you should be able to, but you can't. But I'm going to copy and paste it rather than taking the time to type it. If you do this, it's going to count it wrong, and I don't know what format or something doesn't go, so I'm going to tell it to keep the text only, and actually maybe I'll submit it to the grading engine and see if that works. At one point we thought we'd really outsmarted it all and that we could just cut and paste things from the instructions in there, and then we knew it was all spelled correctly, but apparently that doesn't work. Now we want to go to slide four and we're going to insert a four column seven row table. So I'm gonna to go to the insert table, four row, seven column, and notice that I don't even have to count them because it's showing it to me. I think I actually have slide three selected instead of slide four. And I can just click on this icon here. <laughs> How easy is that? And four columns, seven rows. Four columns, seven rows. Okay. And in the first one, we're typing category, tab. Wait. 
okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I so definitely misread that. Unfortunately, you do have to put the dollar signs in, and you have to put the commas because it's not... And that was comma 915. I was reading that as the next entry, which it was not. And then I need this one over here. Control X, Control V. Oh, there we go. Put my dollar sign in front of it. Change my note pane again. And the increase is dollar one two nine comma nine four one now I don't think you need to watch me type all the rest of them in so I'm not going to and in this table you just created apply the medium style to accent to table style again it'd be nice if it said apply the table style medium style to accent to anyway so got our table selected and we've got design table styles we're gonna go to medium style 2 accent 2 style 2 accent 1 style 2 accent 2 there we go and format the table text font size to 18 points And it is. Center align the headings and right align the numbers. So we want, now you, I got that right facing arrow. I clicked it and it selected the entire row. Center and right align all the numbers. So I'm just going to do this and then right align them and right align means that our commas will line up and our dollar signs will line up and it will be a much more attractive layout now add a new slide after slide four that uses a comparison layout so new slide comparison and type Wanton Waffle Specialties as the title on the slide. And then I want Luncheon Waffles here. And I want Dessert Waffles here. And I want to format the font size to 18 points. There we go. And then I want to type these items in column one. So click to add text. Okay, I'm not going to type them all in. Again, you can type them in without. So there we go. Now we want to move slide eight so that it becomes slide three. So I'm going to grab, there are several ways I could do that but I can just drag it. There we go. Now it becomes slide three. Display slide three, search for pictures online and insert an appropriate image into the placeholder. So I want online pictures, waffle,
And I like that one with the strawberries insert. And we encountered this problem in the lab as well. And so what we ended up having to do was actually to go to just go and search for waffle and go to images. And I can find, I could probably find that exact one. I don't really care to take a lot of time doing that. And I'm just going to copy the image and then I'm going to right click and paste the image. So it's the same effect. So if you encounter that issue, then just do that. Work around it. You know, we have to adapt. So we want to image into the placeholder, insert the same image on slide eight and position in the lower right portion of the slide, resize as needed. So we'll go to slide eight, control V. There we go. And um, lower right corner. Don't really need to resize it. There we go. On slide five, we want to apply the fly in entrance animation. Five to the text box containing our first year was profitable. So I click on that and go to animations and do fly in and it gives us a preview of what that fly-in is going to look like, and that has a one now. And then I want to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to do fly-in, and then um, after previous instead of on click. So that's timing right here. and click Start Slideshow from the beginning and navigate through the presentation. So you can, you can do that a wide variety of ways, but um, Slideshow from beginning. There we go, and this is really nice to um, have this, but it does not let me see my instructions, and the instructions are going to tell us to um, on slide eight, underline the words detailed financial proposal in the first bullet with the pen option. Circle the word two on the second bullet and the word 10 on the third bullet. So it's slide eight. I'm going to write this down. Two, 10. And detailed financial proposal. And it wants us to exit the show and keep the annotation. So whenever I do from the beginning, what happens is that the screen that you can't see is my second screen, and that's what's actually displaying the audience presentation. And this is the speaker portion of the presentation. So I go through. And there we go, there was our fly-in animation. And slide six, seven, and eight. And apparently, let's see, there we go. Well, go back. Because it wanted us to underline detailed financial proposal, so I choose the pen. And I can choose ink color here. We'll just stick with red. So underline detailed financial proposal, and then it wanted us to circle two and 10. And there we go. Now, when I get here, click, I want to keep the annotations. And that'll be important if you look down here, those annotations are still there. And let me pull up 
my instructions again now. Um, display the pr print preview of the presentation handouts. So I'm going to go file, print, and then print what? Um, full page slides, handouts, and four slides per page horizontally. Four slides horizontal. That's what it would look like. Save and close the presentation and submit. You're finished. Yay, chapter one.